And breaking news in Springfield, where lawmakers are creating stricter rules for gun buyers. Among the gun control bills passed by the House today prohibiting the sale of assault weapons to anyone under the age of 21. Banning bump stocks, which make guns fire more rapidly. Establishing a 22-hour cooling off period before anyone can buy an assault rifle. And requiring gun dealers to be licensed. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely is covering the breaking developments in Springfield for us tonight. Derek. Robin Erica, for gun control advocates, today's measures represent the most significant victories in anyone's memory. And they come after years of frustration and futility. It's the biggest drive for new gun laws Springfield has seen in years. Hundreds of moms rallying, including Mary Kay Mace, who lost her daughter Ryan in the 2008 NIU shooting, and now backs new measures to keep guns from the mentally ill. That might have been something that could have stopped the NIU gunman. His family knew that he was sick, um, but they just didn't have the tools available to do something about it. Mothers joined by Cardinal Blaze Supich, who cited support for action by the widow and daughter of murdered CPD commander Paul Bauer. When you have law enforcement uh, coming at these issues saying that uh, by removing high powered magazines, bump stocks, uh, and other measures that can protect them, uh, I, I, I find that their voice is very compelling to listen to. The momentum for change launched by the mass murder at the Parkland, Florida High School. Senator Don Harmon introduced a bill to license gun dealers 15 years ago. The shooting in Florida was different because the high school kids stood up and started yelling at politicians. But opponents claim the proposed gun measures represent government overreach and talking points for Democrats in the upcoming elections. And I think it's shameful that they're putting politics in front of policy. But those supporting a bum stock ban said it's time to act. It is a disgrace. There is not a ban on bump stocks. There are issues still to be addressed. The so-called Bauer bill is being reworked and will be considered perhaps as soon as tomorrow. That, of course, bans the sale of body armor as well as extended magazines. And the new process for taking guns out of the hands of the mentally ill has already been passed by the Senate. That is to be addressed by the House tomorrow. However, gun control advocates are already celebrating today as a historic day. We're live in Springfield. Derek Blakely. CBS 2 News. Rob? Okay, Derek, thank you.